Hey everybody, this is Reapy Ron, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be playing some Killing Floor 2, and we have a very special map this time. This is a custom map called Killing Floor Nightmare Island. This is made by Meat and Cheese, who uh, welcomed me to Nightmare Island just last night, and I am going to be showing it off. It is a really cool map, and there is a lot to do. We're going to be playing demo, and this is Endless Hell on Earth. So as you see, we start out here. This is pretty much the house, and I'm going to grab this double barrel for a very important thing that I will show to you later. So, we have our little flubber here. Hey, flubber, how's it going? And we've got Skull Island off in the distance. That's where King Kong lives. Now, as you can see, there is actually just randomly placed weapon. Actually, these aren't random. These are all uh, always going to be here. They respawn, I believe, every level. And you can pick up whatever weapons you would like. All right, so we can grab our... Whoops. I need to toss this other deagle, too. Shit, 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 shit. Hang on, little guy. I need to grab a seal squeal. All right, so we have plenty of options here. If you don't want to go, you know, buy a whole bunch of stuff or anything like that. You have tons of options just sitting up here. And I will show you further down once we get down here. Right now, we're just going to kill some of these guys. It's... A little bit overpowered that I have a seal squeal this early on, but, you know, oh, love the map my is that way, so we'll use it. Moving out into Nightmare Island. This island is actually giant. I believe me and she's told me that it was a little bit over two times the size in length of Nuked. Which is uh, a pretty big map already. There's armor, there's ammo. <laughs> This was mostly made to be a holdout map to get you a whole bunch of levels, as he told me. Where it's pretty easy to survive even Careful. on Hell on Earth We've got the stalker creeping around. without too much trouble because you have giant open areas like this. You have a lot of room to move. Any weapon that um, benefits from really long range really benefits here. And I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. There. Uh. With a weapon that I usually don't take. Now, another thing that's really cool about this map is these goat statues. Now these are taken from, uh, I believe, Krampus Lair. And you can sacrifice health and get the same effect that you do on Hellmark Station. So you get a little bit bonus movement speed, you get more damage, you do fire damage over time. Uh, it's actually really cool. You cannot heal when you're using these, just like in Hellmark Station. They're not made for that. On the opposite end of the island, we have this giant, um, I guess, holdout center. And we also have some familiar faces around here. <laughs> got Mr. and Mrs. Foster. I believe Anna is hanging out somewhere back over here. Let me go try to find her. Yeah, smack that baseball, Foster. Where is Anna? Maybe I walked past her. And we've got the boat that brought us here, which um, doesn't seem to be doing so well right now. Ah, there's Anna. Yes, we got Anna right here. Doing her best impression of a gunslinger. <laughs> and we have this giant portal. Well, one thing that's really cool about this is this portal also takes you to the other side of the island, and it works both ways for both you and the Zeds. So you and the Zeds can go through the portal any time that you would like to get from one part of the island to the other. Which is pretty cool. Now, there's a couple other really cool things inside this building too, inside the main building that you go on. There are destructible walls, which I blew this one up by accident. So, explosive weapons can blow these up pretty easily. The weird thing about it though is that you can't get through it very easily uh, with the explosions. However, if you throw a grenade there, regardless of what kind of grenade, it will actually make it easier for you to get through these. So I can actually just walk right through this now because now this doesn't count as actually being here for me. So, and there's quite a few of these walls. Uh, I believe there's one here, if I remember. It might be on this wall. Hang on. Yep, there it is. So we have one wall here, but this is obviously blocked by that. So, Only ten more seconds of this wall, no time for we can hunting. blow up, and we can get through it pretty easily. Uh, sometimes we had some issue, at least when he was showing Wave me, two. that the walls don't always work unless you toss the grenade at him. Also, all the furniture oh. here is destructible, which is pretty awesome too. 
So if you just like destroying stuff, you can do it. All right, now there's a couple other things that you can also do in this. So you can weld these doors, but you can also... Hang on, if I can get it. Locking you can down. weld this door. And as you can see, I used up all of my charge, and it's only at 1%. The reason for this is this is the boss door. Uh, if everybody is working together, you can actually Welding. get this to 100%. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way up to 100% because that takes a very long time. Uh, we were trying to do that the other time that we played this map, and it, it took quite a while just to get it to about 30%. But this is pretty Seating much an indestructible way. door. Bosses will usually run up to it and try to kick it, but I believe Meat and Cheese said it took something like at least 100 boss kicks to even threaten it. I could be wrong about that number. But it takes a very long time for anything to get through this. You can also attach anything that you normally would to this, like the uh, demo's explosive um, weld on it too. Wave three. So it works just like a regular welded door, which can help you a lot. Now, that is the only entrance into this building, unless you are coordinated and can get up onto this. Now, you can do this with the double barrel, um, and that's exactly what I'm going to try. I, it took me a very long time to get this right the other time. Oh, I had it. Oh yeah, another thing that I should probably mention on this is Watch that out, strikes on this map always start out in rage. The main reason for this is so that they can actually move on this giant map, because... You can pretty much just outrun a Scrag all map long without any issue. So about the only Zed that is actually maybe going to give you problems, well, besides Rioters, they might take a little while, is realistically going to be Bloat. There we go. All right. So that didn't take me nearly as long as it did the other time when we actually tried this Lovely. live. Um, and here is the part. So you I do know don't how know to what to make of that, this. but we're gonna upgrade our seal squeal. The seal squeal is actually an amazing weapon on this map because you can essentially launch it all the way across to the map or to the other side of the map. I don't think you can actually shoot it quite that far because I believe that there is a limit as Wait to how far it will actually go. And yeah, it will explode eventually. So. About as far as you can see, it, well, maybe not even that far. Maybe about to that second pillar right there is about as far as you can launch the seal squeal um, effectively from this position. Um, if you would like a longer range weapon, there's always those options just laying around here too. Let's see if I'm any better at this. There we go. That was actually first try to, <laughs> at least for that attempt. <laughs> All right, so you can shotgun jump your way up here. If need be, it can be a little bit difficult. Uh, it took me many tries to do it correctly. There we are. I find it easier to do it backward, but you can also do it forward as well. Or you can do it on the side. All right, so let's see our first boss here. And then I'm going to show you another weapon that you don't usually see de a lot of demos using. And I think Meat and Cheese is onto something, and this is the reason why you don't see it very often. So there is no announcement of which boss you're going to get, uh, but it is going to show up probably through here. Um, oh, all right. And he will try to get in. Now what we also found is the bosses are aware of the breakable walls too. Um, so things like this might try to vomit at you through the wall. At least they tried to do that to me. There is also some sort of bug too, where sometimes you don't see the boss's health bar. We're not entirely sure why that is, but it's a Rocking thing that happens. So. As you can see, our, <laughs> our base has been breached now. Now, these bars do actually have a hitbox, but it's only on the bar themselves. So if you aim in between the bars, you can actually shoot in between the bars. This can be a little bit tricky with explosives, but it works the same way with uh, boss projectiles too that we found. Where did he go? <laughs> Not entirely sure where the abomination went. He might have actually ran back through the portal and is coming all the way back around. I would not put it past him. Yeah, there he is. He's coming. It just took him a while. <laughs> he wanted to do a full lap before he got back to me, I guess. Alright, there we go. 
Abomination's dead. I wasn't exactly sure how much health he has. Oh yeah. Hans just said he was an expert at making oatmeal. That we have never heard that line before, but apparently Hans says that. But we're not entirely sure why either. If you guys have heard that, tell us. Maybe we just weren't paying attention to Hans the whole time, but I, I've never heard it and neither did anybody else. I wonder, does that count as yep, that is an interesting pathing path too. Since it shows that you can go through there because this is a breakable wall. Huh. Interesting. Alright, now, the weapon I would like to show off in this map is not the Seal Scroll, but this weapon, the Seeker 6. This is a weapon that you don't see very often, and it's a weapon that I have said uh, on multiple tier lists is not that Ten great of a seconds, weapon. Biggies, and I kind of stand by that, on most maps. However, on this map, it's a little bit different, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to run all the way out here, about to the middle Wait, of the map. Six. And Meat and Cheese told me about this, is that this weapon is not really made for most of the Killing Floor 2 maps. You can get away with it on Nuked and a couple other, uh, you know, really long maps. Maybe Black Forest and a couple of them. But in most cases, this weapon doesn't really benefit all that much because you're just going to kind of be spam firing it. On this map, however, with how long a range it has, and this does have a lock-on mode, and you don't lose any extra damage with the lock-on mode, like the uh, railgun. You can actually sit a ways away from everything and be able to lock onto things usually before you can even see them. I mean, this Scrake is he's kind of running right towards me, so we've seen him. But you can lock onto a bunch of stuff from such long range with this. And I think this map actually makes the demo, or it makes the uh, Seeker 6 seem like a pretty good weapon on demo. Of course, on this map, it favors anything with really long range. So we can see a couple things moving around down there. Can't tell what the heck they are, but there's a couple of things. I mean, anything low is going to be a crawler, but... Easy as five. Like, this is pretty cool for this weapon. I think this is where it excels at, where it's like, it's really hard to hit a shot from actually that far away with most weapons. Since most weapons just aren't that accurate, or uh, it's just easy to where you can't see the target because maybe you don't have any sort of optics. You know, maybe you could hit it with like the railgun 50 cal, stuff like that that has a pretty decent scope. But I mean, <laughs> that is pretty great. That actually makes this seem really good. And the slow reload is not that big of a deal because you're yes, sitting yes, so far you're away and you're getting guaranteed way. hits. Now, if there was more maps like this uh, in the base game killing floor, I think this weapon would actually be pretty good then. Uh, it's not like a terrible weapon by any means. I don't want to make it sound like it's just the worst weapon in the game because it's not. I think I've always put this into like B tier ish and I kind of stand by that. Where it's like, it's perfectly serviceable, but most of the time you're not going to be using it like this. Most of the time you're going to be more or less shooting it at that range at most. Alright, we got another boss wave, and I've just been hanging out here recently, and it's been working just fine. Uh, this map obviously wouldn't work well for, like, a challenge video that I would want to do, just because it, it's pretty forgiving in almost everything, because I can get, you know, a power-up if I want to sacrifice health. There's ammo literally everywhere. There's a giant, uh, well, a giant fat man running towards me, but a giant lane um, that I can just run from the enemies from, which benefits so many classes. And you can use certain weapons like this, which <laughs> get made so much better by this type of map. Now, obviously, like, the Abomination is a pretty easy target for this weapon, even without locking on. But, Bye. you know, it's just that much easier. It's that much simpler. And this, I think, would be a really good... Um, well, a really good map for anybody that wants to level up quickly. You can level up very fast on this map. It's also very good for anybody who, you know, may not be super comfortable with a class or may not be super comfortable with a certain difficulty. You know, they want to try Hell on Earth, but most of the, uh, you know, 
actual maps are a bit difficult for them to get into. So this would be a good place to start out. Um, also, there's a couple other things that I shouldn't mention. If you hit the goat statue, get the bonus health, it applies it to all allies. So be aware of that. Um, you will give all your friends bonus damage, bonus movement speed, and bonus fire damage. But you will also take some of their health and they can't be healed. So it might be an effective trolling tool too. Also, a lot of these areas that look like you might be able to get to, you actually can't. Meat and Cheese did a very good job of making it so that there was walls all around this place. Um, so that you can't easily break the map or the Zeds can't easily break the map. That being said, we did find a few, but I'm not going to disclose those ones that you can get to with the aid of a boomstick. Um, you're not just going to be able to get to them, you know, accidentally. You're going to have to be trying to get out to them. Well, now if you're like me and you're wondering, can you get to Skull Island? As you can see, you can technically go into the water. However, if you go any further than just your toes in the water, you will die instantly. <laughs> All right, so that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed Nightmare Island. I think it turned out amazing. Uh, thank you very much for Meat and Cheese for allowing me to play this early and just take me to Nightmare Island to explain everything that's going on here. I think it's an amazing map. Um, he did a really great job on this. As you may notice, most of the Zeds from this uh, are wearing their Halloween skins. This was made to be a Halloween map, but took more time because I mean, she's really wanted to get it right. And I think he did an amazing job at this. There will be a link down in the description of this video to where you guys can go off and get that uh, custom map. Definitely check it out. Meat Cheese makes some awesome custom maps. He is a phenomenal map creator and he's a phenomenal uh, Killing Floor 2 player. He's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, so go check that out. Show him some love. Show his map some love. Uh, he deserves it. So thank you guys also very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.